And we return with yet another Master System game. And this one, if you can tell, is Golden Axe, which was released in the arcades in 1989, uh, based on the Altered Beast hardware, and brought to the Mega Drive, uh, Genesis in 1989, Mega Drive in 1990, and the Master System in the same year. And of course, as normal, the Master System differs somewhat from the Mega Drive and the arcade version. The story is fairly true, but it's told from the perspective of this guy, who is called Tarek, although in the proper game he is called Axe Battler, and is the main protagonist. So, rather than picking characters, you get to choose your different type of magic. So you can have Earth, Fire, or Thunder. Now, Thunder was reserved for the dwarf, who was called Gilius Thunderhead in the original. And Fire was Tyrus Flames? Tyrus Flames magic? So I'll stick with what he had, which was Earth. So here we are. Have we got sound? Yes, we've got a sound effect. And, you know, the game is it's authentic to what Golden Axe should be, but ah, oh, two-player is what Golden Axe was all about. It was originally conceived to be a rival uh, to, not a rival, but to cash in on the Double Dragon game, which has been released a few years prior, and it came out just before Final Fight was on the scene. But our Master System owners deserve better than this. I mean, it's not a bad game, but I don't think one player is okay. But you need some two player for this. These, these characters look a bit muted, don't they? Great. Come on, take you down. Still, um, Tarek has got a nice swinging action. You can see, if you look, the use of the sword actually becomes rather stumpy when you swing it. And that's because um, if it was any bigger, it would be too easy to complete the game. They had to alter it so that it swung at a, at a small area, rather than a massive sword that could take out enemies on the other side of the screen. Give me the chicken leg! Give me the chicken leg! Here we are! Yes, got the chicken leg! You're going down! Look how he's holding his sword! Oh yes! I'm gonna get you! Alright, jump up here and we should have some little gnome-like goblins. There we go. Magic bringers. Come on. There we go. Go down here and get this one. Of course, if you follow the bottom route, you can't get back back up and, follow, and get the magic from the top. Always best to go top. Oh, I missed that one. Jesus. Come on. You're going down. And music's fairly authentic, isn't it? You can't really go wrong with the Golden Axe music, it sounds the same in whatever style of sound chip you use. Oh, these guys are a bit smaller compared to the Mega Drive. And the Mega Drive, they're huge, towering, beasty giants on this are about the same size as me. Massively disappointing. And we haven't got the satisfying FUD sound effects like we do on the Mega Drive version, when you gonk them on the head. There's no gonking on the head going on here, is there? It's just slashing. Quite easy, really. I'm just. Oh, that was a piece of piss. Look how he sleeps. I can't be comfy. Kick you in the ass, boy. All right, my magic. Ah, oh, look at that. That's quite nice. That map is look is pretty good. That's very similar to the Mega Drive. So Death Adder is the guy who has stolen the king and the king's daughter. We have to get to his castle and rescue the said people because we are heroes. This is very much Hero Quest style fantasy gaming, isn't it? It's a mashup of sort of Eastern fantasy and Double Dragon style gameplay, as was the idea. Yeah, water, what's going on with that water? It's actually not bad. I mean, this game got fairly panned because of its. It wasn't as good as the Mega Drive version, but no, of course, it's not going to be as good as the Mega Drive version. But it does what Golden Axe needs to do. I wonder if we'll get the women and children... Oh, it's slowing down a bit. I wonder if we'll get the women and children running through in a second. Like you do on the arcade. And Mega Drive. Mega Drive. I 
played this on the Atari ST when I was younger quite a lot. And that's not a bad conversion at all. Oh, there's no women and children! But I do have a dragon. And I'm looking forward to seeing the knight come out of the door. If indeed there is a knight. There should be. Or a close approximation of a knight at least. Nope. Oh, no. Magic first. Oh, I can get more magic. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes. Oh, I don't need any more. This is a waste. I feel like I'm wasting my magic. What are these things? These little goblin things. Are they like orcs or something? Hard to tell, really. My magic pulsating away in the top corner there. Oh, another dragon. Hello. Oh. Very rude. I don't think there's any need for that. Uh, and this was a game I didn't actually get to play in the arcades, which is disappointing. I never even saw a cabinet. Of course, the, ma the magic effects were mighty impressive in the arc. Yeah, he's a skeleton! I love the skeletons! Of course, I want to bloody continue. What do you think this is? Buttons? Look at, look, at, look at the skeleton mask face on the shield. He looks a bit sad. Look at that face! He's like, oh. Oh, I don't like being a shield. Oh, she is vicious with that swinging axe like thing. Now, this game was originally supposed to be called. Um, Battle Axe, or even Broad Axe, but it was changed when uh, one of the Japanese Sega people, I can't remember his name, saw it and saw that the Dwarf's Axe was gold and he went, this shall be called Golden Axe, and so it was, forevermore. There was also a spin-off for the Master System, uh, which was called, it was ba like a Zelda game, it was called Golden Axe Warrior. Which came out in 1991. And of course, go. Why didn't I see the knight? Are there are no knights in this version. Of course, um. Golden Axe 2 came out in the Mega Drive, and Golden Axe 3 came out in the Mega Drive, but only for Japan. I'm gonna try and use my magic. How do I use magic? How do I even use magic? There we go. Whoa, it's a nuclear bomb! Good heavens! How did she survive a nuclear bomb? That's full magic. Is she some sort of Terminator? And the, my god, she's rock hard. How is she so strong? Chicken leg. Chicken leggin? Or cockatrice, I believe. They were also appeared in Altered Beast. I don't know whether that's because this was based on the same arcade hardware and they just left that bit of code in one of the chips. I highly doubt it. Maybe it's because they are, they are a familiar thing in fantasy realms. Oh, here's the gap. I need to jump over. No, oh, I need to jump over a gap. Stop harass. Did he just commit suicide? No, I thought he was committing suicide. Come on. I'm whipping my cockatrice at you. Oh, you vicious clubbing beast! Why did you do that, you nasty man? You too. You are. Oh, very nasty people. Let's go. Okay, here's the jump. Yes. Ah, there's got to be a knight come out of here, surely. There used to be a knight on the on the real version. Game. Oh, you bastard. I almost got to see the knight. I'll blame my bad playing for that. Anyway, that's Golden Axe on the Master System. Um, yeah, it's okay. 